I'd like to invite to, to the stage our software engineer, software developer, Alexander Zaharchenko. And I, and I want to say that uh, Alexander is a, is a new generation. The, the next generation is actually here. So uh, in the history of Porta 1, uh, Alexander is the youngest team lead of software engineer engineers, right? Uh, Sasha, the stage is yours. Please. Yeah. Share this. Hello, everyone. Okay. Do I see the presentation? Uh, my name is Alexander Hashink. Today, I'm going to talk about how to make your developer's life easier and speed up your development process related to Portable and API, starting from 100 views maintenance release. I am Porto One Backend Development Team Lead. Each day, our team work with Portable and API. We make changes in order to create something new or just existing files for the better. Currently, existing API was created at a time when SAP became a gold standard protocol, and the rest was building its popularity. In order to get the best of both worlds, we support XML and JSON structures. For the past years, we have created more than 800 API methods, updating and creating new ones each release. API methods created that long ago do not comply with modern expectations. We built versatile methods with ambiguous behavior, but failed to document them well. Input values could be changed by the system depending on realm, input parameters, permissions, so the output data can differ from what was actually requested. We tied API structures to the internal portable entities, which results in large data objects with unclear names. Our response codes and the HTTP methods do not comply to RESTful design. There was a case when customer wanted to supervise calls by the click of a button on his CRM system by portable and call control API. At first, the customer couldn't understand why the method required mandatory input parameters, even though documentation didn't say so. Then the customer couldn't understand why the get call list method returns an empty list. It was mentioned in the documentation that to work with call control API, API subscription should be performed first, but such behavior is not obvious. What is more, our support team that sometimes help you with API considered it to be complicated. Even our workflow architects that work with low code platforms find it hard to work with portable and API. Sometimes they can't easily find required methods and they ask us for the quick guidance. Therefore, we know that working with portable and API takes a lot of time, money, lost opportunities due, due to the missed deadlines, and it results in stress. We don't want to change it for the better. We want to make API more predictable and less complex. To achieve that, we have to drastically change methods, decompose large structures, design API following best practices, and use better documentation. Such changes require backward compatibility to be broken. Furthermore, we can't rebuild all of our API in a single step, so we have to mitigate your pains of frequent changes. To make it happen, we introduce new API version 2 available as a separate service that can be deployed to any maintenance release and work in parallel with current API. New API is built following RESTful principles and open JSON API specification. API schema is reviewed multiple times by people from different departments to ensure that it's easily understood. In new API, instead of making non-backward compatible change, the API version will be increased, giving you possibility to decide which one to use. Back to the changes. Instead of using proprietary JSON RPC implementation, we return to the RESTful design, predictable URIs, response status calls, input arguments. We will change and clear internal portable terms to ones that can be easily understood by everyone or by team forum terminology. For example, the ISO 4217 field is changed to currency because it's currency. Instead of silently changing the list of available input parameters, for API user, we will provide multiple API schemas that exactly corresponds to input parameters accepted by current realm. No more guessing why some parameter was ignored by the server. New methods released in next maintenance releases for the API version 2 will be available even on earlier portability installations for which API version 2 is available. They will not require to go through tedious system update to deliver new API methods on your installation. There are other enhancements as well. 
API fields description will have a link to the port of one product documentation about the equivalent field on the user interface. You will be able to specify what auxiliary data to return in one request. For example, instead of using two API calls to get account information in its product, an API user will be able to specify inclusion of product information together with account information. Reworked API schema structures with no transitive relationships and with no subcomponents. For instance, currently there is an add-on priority field in the product structure. It determines both type and priority. When the add-on priority equals to zero, it means that it is a main product. But when it's not zero, it means that it is add-on product and the stored number determines its priority. In the new API, for the add-on product, there will be both type and priority fields in the schema. The main product will have only type field. Sparse field set feature will allow an API user to specify what fields to include in the response, and only those will be returned by the API server. With API version 2, we expect to have, firstly, a predictable structure, but the same input arguments or resources do not change their name from method to method or mutate input parameters. Secondly, developers that have worked with other APIs will be comfortable working with portable and API due to the restful design. Thirdly, deployment to any release without patches and conflicts and enabling smooth transition to new API at a comfortable pace for you due to both APIs available at the same time. What is more, less time will be required for onboarding a new developer due to more descriptive endpoints and less complex structures. Finally, faster and therefore cheaper development of Portugal and API due to its recognizable behavior and better documentation. So no more deciphering is required to understand how to call API methods. Switch to the new API in the next releases to make a developer's life. Thank you for your time. I will be happy to answer your questions.